Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my planner kit lineup for the month of July. And I store the kits that I have already assigned two weeks in these Avery binders separated by month. So let's go ahead and get started with the first week. So the first week is the week of the 4th of July and I didn't really want to use a traditional 4th of July kit so I decided to go with this mini kit 152 from Planner Kate. It's this nautical theme but since it has the red white and blue incorporated in it I thought it would be a good 4th of July alternative. And from the kit I actually only have these two sheets sheet A and C which is the sampler and the full boxes so I'll need to supplement a few things since this is not really enough stickers for the way I plan now. So I decided to pull in this red, white, or actually no white, just red and blue foil, uh, foil bundle from SPC. So it'll be, so now I'll have one of, I'll use one of these bottom washies so I can have a full washi on the bottom. The, I probably won't use any of those. Uh, I have date headers now, and then I also have glitter headers. So most of these will be put to use. And then I also pulled some foil, matte foil samplers from SPC in red and blue hollow, or foil, excuse me. And then I have some 4th of July specific stuff from SPC, these overlays, and then these from Simply Gilder, Gilded, just fireworks. So I'll use that as deco. And then I just pulled in some... Uh, icons since there's not many in the kit. I'm only going to use this one if I use it at all but then I thought that these blues work really well as well. Up next is the week of National Ice Cream Day so I decided to use this mystery from SPC and I actually think she just re-released it in shop like not in the mystery format so I think it is available actually and I thought this kit would be the perfect one to use for National Ice Cream Day, obviously, since it is an ice cream shop. So I will be using that one this week. And this one was not cut very well. Well, I guess it was cut too well. Um, it just the quality control was not great on this one. Oh, and it has the, um, what's it called? Extra boxes included as well. And then for foil, I decided to pull in gold since there's a lot of gold elements in the kit so I have these sprinkle uh what are these header yeah header overlays from SPC which I thought would be very appropriate and this ice cream underlay from Planahanna that I will use as well and since I want to pull in some more foil I have this um bundle from SPC to kind of use for other things um but I will quickly go to Planahanna's Planner Pixie Co and Alicia Crafts since those are the three places that I buy foil from and I'm going to go to their shops to see if they have any more ice cream specific stuff that I may want to use instead. But for now this is what I'm going with. Up next is the week of July 17th and this is the week that my friend is having her bachelorette party so I wanted to include a kit that kind of reminded me of her and also kind of gave off bachelorette themes and this one does that even though she's not I mean she was born in the 90s but anyway yeah so I think these patterns and these colors just really give her vibes so I am very excited to use this kit this week and I'm also very excited for the party it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to a lake house so very excited for that and then the kit also came with the extra color extra um, skin tone and then the bottom washi and then the foil bundle that came with it this was a mystery kit by the way the foil bundle that came with it was this lavender hollow good vibes foil bundle it has like peace signs butterflies uh cherry smiley faces this is just very the bride so I'm very excited to use this kit and I love lavender hollow I don't use it that often I think honestly this is the first time I'm using it this year even so I'm excited to have an excuse to use it and I think it'll go perfectly with this kit 
And then finally for the week of July 24th, this is National Planner Day and what, or the week of National Planner Day, I should say. And what better way to mark that than to use a planner themed franking kit. So I just pulled some extra boxes that had like literally any planner on it from all the kits that I've used and the deco and stuff that I will use for this week. And then this are, or these are some leftovers from previous kits that kind of fit the planner office desk vibe so I'll be going for like a pastel kind of colorway since as you can tell all of these are from different kits so there's obviously like a million and one colorways going on I decided to pull in some icons and samplers from other kits and then I'm also pulling in this rose foil bundle to kind of have an extra washi some day covers and things like that to make it more of a full kit and then i also have these random summer scripts also in rows to incorporate potentially if i do any of those summer themed bucket list items so that is everything for this month just to recap i'm using the mini kit 152 from planner kate with some red hollow and blue foil. I am using the June, oh, for the week of July 10th, I'm using this June 22 mystery from Scroll Prince Co. for National Ice Cream Day with gold foil. For the week of June 17th, which is a bachelorette party that I'm going to, I am using the November mystery from Caress Press with lavender hollow foil. And then finally, the week of July 24th for National Planner, Planner Day, I'm using this Franken kit with rose foil. So that is everything for this month. As you can see, I have literally a theme for every single week. There is no random kits in this kit. Every week has a holiday or a special occasion that I'm celebrating, which is very exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you're twinning on anything. I would be pretty surprised if actually this one I think is pretty normal. This one I have a feeling a lot are going to be using this week and obviously some sort of 4th of July spread this week as well. So again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.